Kimberly McCullough. I'm sorry. Smile. So pure and joyful. And he said, I see you. Robin, I see you. And I knew he did. And the Emmy goes to... Kimberly McCullough, General Hospital. This is Kimberly McCullough's second Emmy and fifth nomination for her role as Robin on General Hospital. She received her first Emmy in 1989. Bless me with the opportunity to touch so many people's hearts and open their eyes. And I would also like to thank Wendy Rich for having the courage to tell this beautiful story, Claire for writing it, <laughs> Michael Bruno, my buddy. <laughs> I would also like to thank all the people that have been with me over the years, Fanola Hughes, Tristan Rogers, Jack Wagner, Ian Buchanan. I love you and will always remember you. I would like to thank Marnie Vats for always making sure that I made it to my finals. <laughs> I would like to thank a man who changed my life, Mr. John Homa, <laughs> who taught me how to trust myself. And I would also like to thank my mother, whose love and support I would not be here without. I love you more than anything, Mom. Thank you. I was exhausted worrying about my test results, which I kind of hope you brought. I'm really sorry to bug you, but still end up tired about it this time. The results are in. That's why I'm here. Great. Stone will be really relieved. not good. You're HIV positive. Come on. I can hardly believe it myself. I'm so sorry. The lab's wrong. It's false positive. No. Dr. Quartermain, it's wrong. I don't have the virus. They confirmed the positive with a Western blood test. The results are accurate. But I tested negative twice. We both know that the window period between exposure and the development of the antibodies can be as long as... Six months or longer. I know that. And everything else about HIV. I live at the AIDS bulletin board on the internet. I know what's been happening to Stone every step of the way. And it's not happening to me. And I'm not crazy. No. The last thing you are is crazy. If you were crazy, you wouldn't have submitted for these HIV tests all these months. You paid attention. You paid serious attention, and thank God you did. Thank God nothing. I didn't get tested again for me. I did it for Stone. So he could smile. He's been in this loop over and over again about me getting another test, so I did. So he can know that he didn't hurt me. These are the last days he's got. I'm supposed to tell him I'm sick? No. No, no, listen. You are not sick. You are not sick. You are extraordinarily healthy. Listen to me. You don't smoke. You don't drink. You don't take drugs. You have no health problems. That is money in the bank when it comes to this virus. Are you with me? I'm with Stone. He's suffering. He's so brave. He asks one thing. To know that I'm all right. What am I disgusting now, Tess? And tell him I was okay. I don't see you lying to Stone. Yeah, well, maybe the rules change when a person's dying. What Stone sees is what counts, and he sees me going on for the both of us. I have to make him believe that I will. But that's the truth. You are asymptomatic. You have a future. 
You're going to lead a full and productive life for years to come. And the only thing that you have to do is monitor your RNA level, take good care of yourself, and live. You can accomplish whatever you want. I want this to be wrong. I want you to have made a mistake. If I had a choice at this moment, I would choose to be wrong. But barring that, I'll take what's good here. And what's good is that your body is strong, and you're healthy, and you know how to stay that way, and one day there's going to be a cure. I don't want to need a cure. I don't want this to be happening at all. I understand. Okay. I'm HIV positive. I appreciate your telling me. Uh, I got things to do now, starting with chocolate pudding, which is Stone's favorite all of a sudden. He can swallow it, digest it, and nobody makes a ripe of me. Big secret, half water, half milk. So, I'm off to the kitchen. And what am I supposed to do, just leave you here just to take care of Stone? What can I tell you? He gets hungry. Thank you for stopping by. I'll be in touch. If you keep this up, you're going to be in trouble. Trouble? Hey, that'd be different. You are different. You are not stone. Are you listening? Are you hearing me? What do I do? You go on. No changes, no big decisions for the next few months. Not until this all sinks in. And I can see that it's starting to sink in and that's all I wanted for now. Good. Because it's like my mom used to say, first things first and what's first is still. I'm sorry I got so freaky. Freaky? You don't know the meaning of the word freaky until you've lived as a quartermain. I'm taking questions if you have any. Or I can I can just hang out here and help you make chocolate pudding if you like. Thanks, but you don't need to stay. I know. But you're important to me. And if you want, I can I can help you tell your Uncle Mac. Uncle Mac. I can't tonight. I need some time to myself. Promise you won't say anything to him or Stone. Not a word. And I want you to remember what we told Stone in the first few weeks. You need to share this with people that you love. It's too much for you to carry alone. All right. And over the next few weeks, we need to sit down and discuss what it means to be a healthy Robin, okay? Safer sex, I know. That always. And good food and exercise. And if you're ever up in the middle of the night and you need somebody to talk to, you call me, okay? Any hour. Thanks. Good night. Good night. You take care. Just quiet. He 
he asked me to stand in the light. So I did. And I looked at him. And he was smiling. A smile. So pure and joyful. And he said, I see you. Bob and I see you. And I knew he did. And in that same instant, something shifted. Something just slipped off its axis really quietly, and he was just, he just wasn't there anymore. I felt this incredible sensation of love come over me. I don't know, I just... I just felt so loved. That's because you are, Robin. Because you know he's gone. Is there anything at all I can do for you? I promise you'll never, ever forget him. I'll never forget him. I don't know, maybe this will help, maybe this won't. But you loved him well. You loved him with everything that you are. With your strength. And with your courage. And you believed in him when he didn't have any other takers. And he loved you right back. You could tell. You saw it, and you recognized it, and you did it right. Very right. God. I don't know what I'm going to do without him. Hey, door was open. Stone died this morning. Is there anything that you need? Need? No. Please promise me that you'll tell me if there is. I promise. Thank you for being so good to him. It was an honor, love. My dad used to call me that. We haven't made any plans yet. It's kind of hard to think. I understand. I'll be in touch when I have a better idea what's going on. Okay, baby. It's gonna be okay. I don't know yet. We have to make it like that. It's what he'd want. I want him 
memorial service and celebrate his life. I want it as quickly as possible. <laughs> 